Uh, what I want to do is I want to just talk about the different sorts of words that uh, most students will come across uh, when they're writing in English. These are particularly important words in, in getting really good quality sentences and uh, you can help them develop these at home. Just have a look at this sentence up here. The beautiful lady walked gracefully. It's a pretty simple sentence, but it's actually got some very good words in there that describe exactly what's happening. And what we want to see is some really good description in our students' writing. I want to tell you the different names for these different types of words because we talk to our students about those names and we ask them to use them. So it's handy if you know what they are as well and you can talk with them about developing the sort of language that we want. Let's just look at this. The word beautiful in this sentence is an adjective. An adjective is a word that describes things. It describes how something looks, how something sounds. It describes what's going on. The next word, the word lady, is a noun. A noun is quite simple. It's the name of a person, a place, or a thing. There are different types of nouns, but let's just at this moment in time stick to the word noun. Some nouns have to have a capital letter, some nouns don't. The ones that have a capital letter are proper nouns. That's where you've got people's names, place names, addresses, that sort of thing. But this hasn't got that, this is just lady. So that's a noun, and it's a name. Name of the thing. Walk, the next word, is a doing word. It's a verb. Verbs are doing words. So walked is exactly what that lady is doing. Finally, at the end, we've got an adverb. It's quite easy to remember, really, because it's a bit like adjective, except you are adding it to the verb, and the adverb describes the verb. So, gracefully describes the type of walking. Quite often, pretty much always really, adverbs end in ly, so they're easy to recognise. It's quite easy to develop sentences like this. Let's just write another one next to it. Scary dog barked loudly. Scary, the adjective, is describing the dog. The dog is the name of the thing, the noun. Barked is what the dog is actually doing. But we want to know how well that dog is barking. The dog is barking loudly. And that's the adverb describing what the dog is doing. If you, with your child's homework, your child's project work, can encourage them to develop these sort of sentences and to develop the diff really good quality adjectives, adverbs and verbs around their nouns, they'll get much, much better sentences.